<laughs> Hello, this is Brent Haynes, last of the Orthodox Catholic here on YouTube of Golden Sword Apologetics. And today's video was about the N-Word. And today's video was brought to you by the letter N and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, because there's a number of racist general conferences uh, that the general authorities of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, uh, they have used the N-Word a number of times, including apostles. Uh, one of these apostles eventually became a prophet. Uh, the other day I was listening to an ex-Mormon bishop, Lee Baker, talk about racism in the LDS General Conferences. Uh, but he did not give very good citations, so I did a little search and uh, found it for myself on Google Books. The word, the N-word, which is the word... Nigga. Is used several times in general conferences uh, by, uh, by the Mormon apostle. Uh, Elder Heber J. Grant, who became a prophet, and Apostle Reed Smoot, who was also a Utah senator. Uh, for those living outside of the U.S. who are simply or simply are not native speakers of uh, the English language, the word nigga is the most insulting word that can be used for a black person. In fact, simply using the word automatically suggests that a person hates black people. Uh, now, remember, according to the LDS, the Mormons. Uh, their twelve apostles are also prophets, seers, and revelators. So the apostle is thought of in the LDS in the same way as the twelve apostles of Jesus were. Also, remember, according to many Mormons, the general conference is a good is as good as scripture. In fact, the Gospel Principles books actually says it is scripture. And many apostles, and many even bishops and authorities and lay clergy will say that uh, it is scripture to us. Whether it is actually scripture and Mormon doctrine is a little fuzzy because uh, some Mormon apologist sites will say it's not. Uh, but the fact is, overwhelmingly, uh, the church and its membership believes it is scripture. Uh, now, my first example of uh, the N-word being used in LDS General Conference is going to be found in, uh, <clears throat> in this section of uh, General Conference. Um, okay, General Conference, Volume 2. Uh, this is happening, uh, let's see, I have the date here, dum, 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 dum. October 6, 1990, the afternoon session, it's Desert News, it's Heber J. Grant speaking, the Mormon Apostle, who later became Prophet, 71st Semiannual Conference, that's what it was called, and right here we see it saying, and he's in the middle of this talk, uh, this godly talk, of course, and he says, I went to a Negro minstrel once, and there were about 10 or 15 on the stage. <clears throat> one of them rushed in with his hat off and said, Which one of these here nigger am lost two dollars, holding up a two dollar bill? There hadn't been any of them who lost two dollars. Well, he said, if none of you have lost it, I found these two dollars right here, right by the right by the door here and it is my money and they all and they they said all right and he put it in his pocket no sooner had he had he gotten in his pocket and look and then look up and jumped a nigger and said look here george washington jones you owe me two dollars <clears throat> pay your honest debts he handed the two dollars to him another nigger Jumped up and says, look here, Julius Caesar Brown, you owe me two dollars, pay your debt. He got it. And Anyway, it's a story about paying your debt. And, and so anyway, he uses it a couple more times, uh, at least once more. Uh, but anyway, this is, this is scripture. This is LDS scripture. And this is this apostle who later became a prophet. And he can, I mean, prove it's scripture. Uh, you can find on Google Books. I have the link here. General Conference. It is uh, the Elder Heber J. Grant speaking. Afternoon session right here. Scroll all the way up. And we will see that. Yes. Look, look, look. It is indeed the 69th. Oh, actually it's the 69th. But anyway, it includes the other ones too. Uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you can go down, go through the whole book, and you'll see. Uh, but this is <clears throat> but this is what they wrote. This is Mormon scripture, or at least apparently scripture. Anyway, the second example is going to be from uh, the Utah Senator. 
Interesting that Lee Utah Senator and Apostle Reed Smoot almost wasn't seated because uh, they still suspected Utah was practicing polygamy, and they were. Uh, that's why the Second Manifesto had to be issued about 1904, because uh, a lot of them were still secretly practicing polygamy. Um, anyway, here's Reed Smoot. He's talking in the General Conference, the 78th Semiannual Conference, page 56, Saturday, October 6, 1907. Uh, 10 a.m. at the Tabernacle, Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. <clears throat> so this is Reed Smoot, an apostle and senator for the United States of America. Page 56. Right here we see it's the Semiannual Conference. Anyway, he says he went he went to the business corner of the city where where a little stand was erected, and on the order to hold the crowd until. He could convince some of them that they had worms or something worse. He had three or four... Nigga. Sing songs, by the way. I have been told that the... Nigga. Z furnished the best part of the entertainment. So, again, more racism by the prophets. Anyway, to prove the point that uh, this word, the N-word, was racist even in Utah at the time. We have a writing from 1900 in a little known territory state now called Utah. Where did they actually use the word nigga? Um, in a context that proves it is racist. And this is uh, the Improvement Era, which is a, was a LDS publication. And it's a uh, volume three, issue one. You can find it here on YouTube. Google Books, I have the link on the blog. <clears throat> anyway, here it is, published by the General Board, edited by Joseph F. Smith and Hubert J. Grant, uh, Apostle. Of, I forget if he was a father. Ah, whatever. Anyway, General Authorities right there. Salt Lake City, 1999 to 1990. So anyway, that's, that's when it was used. This is the same time as Hubert J. Grant, slightly before Hubert J. Grant gave that talk. And so here we see a story, an anecdote. This is a section uh, they published in anecdotes. In recent number of era, missionaries and others were asked to write anecdotes illustrating topics of interest, blah, 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 blah. And this is a story about theft by a guy named J.W. Sloan. Um, anyway, it's, it's a story. It says a man who faced the court, the man who faced the court was black with a blackness not seen even among the Negroes of the South. So notice already the word black is used, the word Negro is used, and then it goes on. In age, he was perhaps 65. His form was bent, not alone with age, but bent and drawn with <coughs> rheumatism. His attire, as there was of it, showed that he not only belonged to the poorer class, but he was one of the poorest among them. As he looked around the court, no kindly face appeared, and he knew that among those men who had <coughs> who had been either who either been former slaveholders themselves or their fathers had, there was no friendly there's no friends for him. The word the Nigga who had who was charged with theft <coughs> As he spoke, his voice trembled, not alone with age, but with a tinge of fear, for he knew to whom he spoke, and how their hearts beat for a worthless nigger. So, that's how they use the word. It was derogatory, even in 1900. Um, so, they could have easily used words like black, negro, Maybe even colored person, colored or whatever you want to say in those days. I wasn't that racist at all. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> here's some more references. This is uh, African American Registry, and this is The Guardian talking about Huckleberry Finn and why that N word's being used there and how uh, it's to show that it wasn't necessarily approved of back then, even by uh, Mark Twain. By the way, Mark Twain didn't like Mormons, yet Mormons, for some reason, uh, did have a story about Mark Twain. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Uh, here's the dictionary I've been quoting uh, for, for the N-word. 
Uh, this is Cambridge. It says the, the word nigger. An extremely offensive word for a black person. And then we have Oxford Dictionary, which explains that uh, the word nigger. was used as an adjective den denoting a black person as early as the 17th century and has had strong offensive connotations. Today, it remains one of the most racially offensive words in the language. Also referred to as the N-word, nigger is sometimes used by black people in reference to other black people in a jocular or disparaging manner. Uh, anyway, that's modern. Uh, usage among black people but overall it was always a racist term uh, especially in Americas anyway this is Brahane Selassie the Orthodox Catholic one here on YouTube uh, showing that the LDS does have racism in their scriptures the general conferences anyway later